Hi, my name is Brandon Hathorne. And this is my trusty assistant, Daniel Kamsikanyans. He will be helping me with this assignment since my handwriting is terribly unlegible. And today we'll be going over weak acid titrations with strong bases. First of all, for those of you that are a little weak on the strong bases and strong acids, we will go over those. Your strong acids are HCl, HBr, HI, H2SO4, HNO3, HClO4, and HClO3. For your strong bases, you have LiOH, NaOH, KOH, RBOH, CSOH, CaOH, SROH, and BAOH. For those of you who are a little new to the whole acid-base titration, there is a certain shorthand that Dr. Rogers uses. This stands for usually, you know, strong bases, weak bases, strong acids, weak acids. So I will lightly touch on this. HA stands for a weak acid or the conjugate acid of a strong base. A minus stands for the weak base or the conjugate base of a strong or weak acid. HB plus stands for weak acid or also conjugate weak acid of a strong or weak base. B stands for weak base or also conjugate base. You kind of see where this is heading, right? H3O plus, also known as hydronium, stands for a strong acid. This can also be written as just H plus. OH minus stands for strong base. This is what you'll see in many of your strong bases. Note that anything that is not a strong acid or strong base is therefore considered weak. For those of you who have made it this far in chemistry, I'm sure you've already encountered our lovely equivalence point determination problems. Well, to help you out in this step, I've created a little helpful mnemonic. It goes a little like this. Don't stop doing equivalence determination problems. This stands for the first step, determine the volume of the titrant, Second step, do the stoichiometric step. Third step, determine the concentration of A minus. Fourth step, do the equilibrium step. Fifth step, determine the KB. And sixth step, pH calculation. Here we have a normal weak acid strong base titration problem. This is where you use the don't stop doing equivalence determination problem. So that helpful mnemonic we learned about earlier. First you will start out with the M1V1 equals M2V2 equation, or in this case, MAVA equals MBVB. You should rearrange this to solve for VB, otherwise known as the volume of the base, which is NaOH. You will have MAVA over MB. This should look like 0 0.30 molar times 50.0 milliliters. Remember, this is the molarity and volume of the weak acid that is on top. Then below that, you should have 0 0.20 molar of NaOH. This is your strong base that you are titrating. Once you calculate this, you should get about 75.0 milliliters of NaOH needed to reach the equivalence point. Now we move on to the stop portion of our mnemonic, the stoichiometric step. Remember that helpful shorthand that we went over earlier? Well, this is where you, it will come in handy. Remember, HA is your weak acid plus your OH minus, strong base, one-way arrow because it is a strong base with a weak acid. A minus for your weak conjugate base plus H2O. This step you will have before, change, and after. Not initial change in equilibrium like the equilibrium step. Make sure not to get these two mixed up. So for our numbers you will put the molarity times the volume which will give you the number of millimoles. In this case we have 15 for both since it is equivalent. What you add to the right side, you take away on the left side. This will give you 0, 0, and 15 for your millimoles of A minus.
Now we will determine the concentration of A minus. Remember, that is the doing part of the mnemonic. To get this, you simply put the number of millimoles of A minus over the total volume of the whole solution. That is including the volume of the titrant and the acid added to the solution. You should have 15.0 millimoles total, which is what we got in our stoichiometric step, over 125.0 milliliters of the whole solution. Once we calculate this, we should get 0 0.12 molar concentration for A minus. Now we'll go to our fourth step. Remember, the equivalence part of the mnemonic. This is, will be our equivalent step. Remember that shorthand? Well, now you just reverse it. A minus plus H2O. Remember, equilibrium arrows because it is two weak things put together, a weak acid and a weak base. Equals HA plus OH minus on the other side. In this case, you will have initial, change, and equilibrium. For A minus, you will put the concentration 0 0.12, and for HA, you will have 0, and OH approximately 0. Remember, what you minus from one side, you have to add to the other side. So in this case, we're minusing X from the left and adding X to the right. Since our Ka was 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, we can approximate that if you have 0.12, minus x is still 0.12. Time for the fifth step, determining the Kb. Remember, this was the determining part of our mnemonic. Kb always equals Kw divided by Ka, or it can also be vice versa. Ka equals Kw divided by Kb, depending on what you're solving for. You will put 1.01 times 10 to the negative 14th over the Ka, which was 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. This should equal 5.6 times 10 to the negative tenth. Now it's time for our last step. Remember the problem part of our mnemonic, calculating the pH. You will have x squared, which you got from your mnemonic step, uh, excuse me, your equilibrium step, over 0 0.12. Then you will equal that to the Kb, which is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Once you calculate this, you should get x equals 8.6 times 10 to the negative 6. Remember what this value equals. What does x equal? In this case, it is OH minus concentration. Then we will take the negative log of this answer, and this will give us the POH. Be careful not to mix this up with the pH. To get our pH, you take 14 minus our answer, and you should get 8.91. And remember, kids, don't stop doing equivalence determination problems.